Hey, my friend, this is David Evans, President of Pick TV Network. You know, uh, one of the greatest blessings of life is God's mercy and grace. Grace woke us up this morning. Grace started us on our way. It was because of the lost mercies we're not consumed. Great is his faithfulness. Every day God has blessed us with grace and mercy. Matter of fact, you burnt up yesterday's mercy just like I did. And this morning, we got up with brand new mercies. You know, a lot of people ask me a lot of times about money. Money is a very, very important uh, source on earth, but it's not the most important source, source on earth. It is God, you know, because when you find God and God is in your life, he's by you more than money. Money can buy watch, but can't buy time. Money can buy books, but can't buy brains. Money can buy bed, but can't buy sleep. Money can buy a lot of things, but it can't buy God. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times when people were walking on the earth with Jesus, Jesus had rich people came and after, coming after him. There was a rich one, young ruler who said, Lord, uh, I want to follow you. I want to be one of your disciples. Jesus says, okay, go sell what you have, give to the poor, and then follow me. You have treasures in heaven. The rich man said, no, I can't do that. I cannot give up what, what I have. See, what God don't want nobody watching me to do right now is to let the things of this world have you. See, God don't mind you having a car as long as it don't have you. God don't mind you having a home as long as you don't have you. God don't mind you having friends as long as your friends don't have you. You got to remember that God is our source. God is our hope. God is my everything. So when you think about what God does, more than money, a lot of people are running after the bag today, running after riches today, running after silver, running after gold. Guess what? What does the profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul? You know, there's a lot of people right now who have money, but they're miserable. You know, they, they, I mean, when I say money, I mean filthy rich. The finest of homes, the finest of cars, the finest of trips, the finest of everything, the finest of clothes. But with God, without God, it means nothing. I'd rather be poor with God than to be rich without him. I'd rather have a little bit with God than a whole lot without him. You know, so today, I want to encourage you and motivate you today with this presentation today to inspire you. Put God first. Make him number one in all you do. You'll be blessed more than money. <laughs>